Hiya, this is uh, just a little video just to show what video equipment I actually have in the garage uh, for making YouTube videos. So that is an El Cheapo tripod. Very cheap. It came for 27 or 29 pounds, including a fancy little telescope, and it was an Aldi one, but it does the job. Um, I have got quite an expensive camera mounted on top of here, which is the uh, Sony RX100. Uh, fantastic camera. This is the one with the pop-up screen. And you can invert the screen so you can see it from the, the front. And I think it, it lifts up as well. Oh, that's right. It, it goes down as well, like so so if you were doing something up at the sky maybe a sky shot you could tilt it so you can still see it yeah so that's one camera i use and i only just started using that one because um i had a problem with uh, this little fella i'll show you there so this is a, a GoPro Hero 5 session that I've had for quite some years and it's been great because it, it goes on the side of my crash helmet on my bike so I can, uh, I can do videoing from the bike, uh, text large memory cards and it'll do up to 4K. I'll talk about 4K in a minute. And then the other week, just before I went away on holiday, I bought this little fella um, at Lacasso. Um, that was 60 quid i think it was flea bay ebay um but it's got all you'd want and it's that's the model you can get it i'm a bit shaky today let's hold it with the other hand i have a problem on my right hand i'll leave it there and i'll zoom down to it ek 7000 pro it's not the best that a castle do but it takes reasonable film um but it's not crystal clear like that one and that also does 4k 4k this camera i'm holding is um samsung galaxy s21 ultra this will do up to 6k i believe i don't use 4k simply because it takes up so much memory um if I set these to 4K, they are a little bit, well, that one and this one and my camera on my phone, then uh, it is uh, a better quality. Uh, I won't say four times better, but it, it's better. Um, now, the reason I don't take shooting 4K, and I have done a couple on YouTube, is they take forever to upload. You know, if you did um, a half an hour video, it, it takes hours and hours and hours to upload. And I mean, I've got a reasonable connection at home. It's, I think on my computer, I can pick up on Wi-Fi about 25 or 30 megabits uh, per second. So it, I don't use 4K for that simple reason. Um, if I run this in 4K, it, it gets quite warm. I can do half an hour and then it, that would... Uh, that trip out. I'm <clears throat> not sure about this one. I think they said if you don't have the back, if you if you bring the back, if you bring that away a little bit, you can probably get about an hour, I think, out of that, a 4K before it gets warm. Sorry, I keep putting my finger over the camera. This thing I'm on, this has got five cameras in it. Um, and in one of the settings on video, it's got a hundred times zoom absolutely stunning pictures it does um really really nice camera only trouble is with these cameras and this one is no exception is they're too big they're just absolutely too big for your pocket now every time i sit in car and i cripple myself so that was just a little video to show the uh the setup i'm using um I have got another little tripod, don't try not to turn too fast. Um, this one here, this is a, a, a really, really, really nice uh, Man, Manfrotto. 
Italian, I believe, and that's my Skywatcher um, GTA or GTZ1 or something. And that's fantastic for following the stars. And that's for using the Nikon P1000 that I've got. But I don't bring that in here, it's just too big and bulky, it's huge. Uh, so, yeah, that's basically my setup. I need something better because I mean, I've got things like that arm there. I've got a selfie stick there. Um, I've got a contraption set up over here that's absolutely useless. And that's two of these snake arms. And I've got it clamped onto my DRO bracket. But it does judder. It shakes a bit. If I'm milling heavy, it vibrates a bit, does that. So I need something better. I mean, I guess something from the ceiling would be better. If I, if I span the timber across in a couple of places, one over the lathe, one over the mill, um, and then maybe make some sort of a rail and a hanging device that I could easily adjust, then I won't pick up all the vibration. That probably would be better. Okay, end of video, we're just to show.